Hi guys, it's Kathy. Welcome to my art channel. As you can see, I've already started making a mess. <clears throat> to apologize for my voice today, I have a I have a cold. Um, I'm just hoping it doesn't go to laryngitis. So, so far, I just sound kind of like a frog. Anyway, uh, this is on a is this? this is a 16 by 20 inch standard canvas it just has a like a three quarter inch uh, side to it not a deep base um, my base coat is liquitex lamp black mixed with uh, i think it's scion blue by amsterdam a little bit of unicorn spit in blue <clears throat> sorry about my voice uh have amsterdam teal with iridescent there's a can't remember there's an iridescent paint i have that i put in to some things it's mixed with deco art extreme sheen extreme sheen teal it's hard to say and liquitex permanent red violet mixed with deco art extreme sheen garnet whoa as i knock things over the garnet's more of a red, and it <clears throat> just gives a deeper tone to this uh, red-violet. The next is a combo of sachet red, which I believe is Modern Masters, and uh, Burnt Umber by Liquitex. Another is uh, Primary Elements Marmalade mixed with folk art fire opal. It almost looks like uh, quinacridone nickel as of gold, but more orange or yellow instead of brown. Well, all these are combinations today. The next is a combination of PBO's iridescent gold fine mixed with 24K gold and a little bit of Arteza's uh, honey gold, just to lighten it up. And then I have a mixture of white, uh, Artist Loft, and, and Amsterdam titanium white. It's very thin. I put a little bit of Penetrol in here for some cell activity, <clears throat> but uh, that was maybe a week ago. I don't know how many cells are going to happen from that, but we'll find out. So I had a couple different ideas for this. One is a Dutch pour going, although I like them in the two corners, this way and that way, but then I thought, let me try something else where it, it comes down like that. So kind of attach those two. So that's what I'm aiming for, I think, is an attachment thing. Um, I've got something weird here in the, the blue. Oh, I've got a little top of something. See that? <laughs> so some top fell into it somehow. At any rate, um, I'm going to try just drizzling it a bit.
I like how this, it kind of looks like it folds over itself like a little uh, flower petal. Okay, so the penetrol is doing its stuff. Look at all those cool cells coming up. Very cool. I really am liking how that penetrol works. It's a lot of cells though. I do have some extra little dribbles here. I'm wondering what to do with that. Um, hmm. Okay, oh, I like that. That is a way of utimus. It's my new word, I guess. Um, oh, I'm loving these colors together. I was not too certain about it. And at the last minute, I was gonna change it up with a, a smaller uh, palette with uh, a royal blue and something, but I'm glad I stuck with this because that is beautiful. Wow. I'm just going to use my little, this is a metal straw. Um, I believe you can get this on Amazon. Maybe there's other places. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm just going to kind of uh, blow out a little areas here and there, make it look a little more organic. I don't know how organic that looks. It's kind of doing strange things. Not real happy with what I did through here. If I can get these gloves to not <laughs> be one inch off the fingertips. I'm going to try just bringing this up a little here. Better. And now I'm just gonna take the little, try to get the little dots of color out in the black that I didn't really want there. Good. I love that. I don't even want to touch that. That's so gorgeous. Okay, let's see. I'm going to make sure, just do little tweaks and not go tweaking out like uh, that Tara used that term. Instead of freaking out, she was tweaking out. Cracked me up. <laughs> anyway, so we don't want to get too tweaked out.
because a lot of times we tend to overdo it. It's easy to get into the tweaking mode and just not stop and then look at it and go, oh, I did too much. Um, I don't want to do too much. But I just want to, you know, tweak a few things that I think might help. I am loving what this penetral does. It's odd, we've got so much here, a little here, nothing here. And I stirred it up pretty good before I put it back in, so interesting. Nothing here too, because it's spread out more. Very interesting. Okay. Um, I am going to, do you see everything, all this forming here? I'm going to give this a few more minutes uh, to for these cells to come up uh, before torching it. And then I will bring you down for a close-up flyby. See you in a okay. minute. Well, I'm all tweaked out. <laughs> I did a little bit here and there. And uh, I, I really like it. Okay, I'm going to try to torch it. I'll bring you down for a flyby. Okay. Hi there. <laughs> Got my shadow there and the glare of the lights. Keep having a friend text me in the middle of this and I can't see what I'm doing. So I think that maybe is my favorite part. Right through there. And the colors just really Blended beautifully. Like that a lot. Like that gold is very pretty. I'm curious to see how the gold dries. It does have the 24K gold in it, but also the PBO uh, gold fine, which doesn't sell up a lot, like just the 24K does on itself. I can see a little bit of the 24K reacting there and there, but I guess when you mix it with other things, it is not as reactive as far as making cells go. It's a little bit. I think most of these cells are caused by the penetral that I put into the white mixture. There's just hardly, hardly no cells at all in there. <laughs> anyway, that's okay. A little bit of mixed bag here with this pour. Don't want it to be completely celled up or completely just no cells. I think the cells in a lot of pours add a great deal of interest. Oh, I am liking how that, uh, it's the gold with the yellow in it that brings out that highlight on either side, so I really like that. Anyway, that was fun. I made me forget about having a cold for a few minutes. Thank you so much for joining me with this. I hope it dries well, and I'll come back and show you the results of that when it does. Okay, here this is dry. I have not varnished it yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to embellish something in the middle or not. I might just leave it. I am loving these colors together the warm and the cool and I love how the uh, the cells that came up and it's a cloudy day here today so you're not able to see how that copper and gold just shimmer that's my favorite part right there Very cool. It was fun to do. So there you have it. Looks like a fern or a leaf of some kind. Anyway, 
I might get back to you later if I embellish it. Until then, you take care, be well, and be happy. And thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.